Well, the traditional role of prisons in society before there was this explosion of the prison industrial complex was to keep people that were predators off the street. People that were serial bank robbers, serial rapists, serial murderers, and also to um, punish people severely enough to check the worst impulses of humankind. I think that the prison says, one that lives within it, I can't help but have ideas about it. And uh, as one who's read a lot of books about incarceration theology and the explosion of incarceration in the United States, I feel that we've, that the, the, that the system has drifted from its roots. It's no longer, a lot of people are being locked up who, just are not threats to society. I mean, I, in my experience, about, I would say over half the men that are in prison yards are just regular guys. They're not morally superior or inferior to a man on the street. And I think that's a very provocative thing to say, but from, from the inside, and looking at these, I mean, some of the BBC guys we're definitely more inferior to the average guy at prison. At least those guys were as they existed in the early 1980s. I mean, some of the guys that I was running with there, on reflection, they did not have a conscience. They were not sufficiently concerned about the well-being of other people. They were um, cavalier about other people's feelings and properties and rights and dignity. I won't go into specific stories or names, but um, we were not. Um, yeah, we were we were not a, a bunch of decent and upstanding people, as they tend to try and portray themselves on the stand. Anyhow, um, the incarceration in the United States is like five or six times that of the rest of the free world. So why is that going on? Why are so many people either in jail, in prison, or on probation? Um, is it really necessary to have a functioning society to have that many people locked up? And the cost is just massive. There's so much wreckage where guys that could be out on the street having a job and, and relationships with their family are in here, and the taxpayers spending $60,000 a year for their update. You have 60 seconds remaining. In perpetuity, so I just don't think the balance is being set properly. And that's a, I, I think that Governor Brown is addressing this for reasons that run parallel to some of the points that I've been making, and for other reasons. He's a, he's a profoundly learned expositor of, of changing the relationship between Prison. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. You have 30 seconds remaining. At society. So, you know, it, it seems pretty obvious, not just to me, but to a growing movement of people that a balance, the balance should be redressed. And that, that too many people are being in prison. There's just too much.